Thank you, Lisa, for the introduction, and thank you all for joining. If you've had a look at the new features in Tableau 2020.4, I'm sure you would have come across the new and improved map layers functionality. This is a game changer for maps in Tableau. As we know, maps are a powerful tool in spatial analytics. And in Tableau 2020.4, you can now overlay unlimited layers of geographic data on your maps. This provides more potential in your analysis as well as a more intuitive experience for developers. In this session, we will cover the limitations of map layers previous versions of Tableau, as well as walk through the new map layers functionality. So to begin, I'm going to build a map in an older version of Tableau to highlight the limitations of the previous map layers functionality. And I'm going to use the Superstore data set, which comes with Tableau. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on the state field. And as you can see, Tableau has rendered those marks onto a map. Tableau will do this automatically with the field in question as a globe icon next to it, which indicates that it has geographic data. Now I'm going to build out this first layer of the map, and I want to look at sales by state. So I'm going to change the mark type to map, and I'm going to drag sales to color. And now we can see that California had the most sales. Now I want to add a second layer to the map to see which cities were the most profitable. So to do this, I need to create a dual axis map. So I begin by dragging latitude to rows. And now you can see we have two identical maps. I'd like to draw your attention to the marks card. As you can see that Tableau has created a marks layer for all, and then one for each of the layers we have created. Also notice that Tableau duplicated the contents of the first marks layer onto the second marks layer. So now I need to change this second marks layer to create the detail that I want. So I'm going to start by dragging city onto detail. And now I want to look at profit ratio. And I'm going to replace sales with that. And for extra contrast, I'm also going to put profit ratio to size. Then I'm going to increase the size. And finally, I'm going to change the mark type to circle. Let me reduce the mark size a little bit there. Great. So now I'm in a position to merge these layers together. And to do this, all I have to do is go to the drop down of this second latitude pill and select dual axis. Now we have a map with two layers. The first one looking at the state level and the second looking at the city level. Now, unfortunately, I cannot add more layers in these older versions of Tableau. And this is where the new map layers functionality in Tableau 2020.4 comes into play. So now I've switched over to 2020.4 and I've already put the first layer on this map. Now I want to add a second layer and this time I'm going to change it up. I want to look at which cities sold the most inventory, i.e. quantity. So to do this, all I have to do now is drag city into the view. And as you can see, this add a marks layer pop up 
appears. So I simply drop city into there, and just like that, Tableau has added this layer to the map. And as you can see, it's a lot simpler and intuitive than the dual axis method. Now again, I would like to point your attention to the marks card. So in 2020.4, Tableau does not create an all marks layer anymore. It simply has one for each independent layer. And also, it has not simply duplicated the contents of the first marks layer onto the second one. We've got a brand new marks layer with our geographic data field that we dragged into the view. So now I'm going to finish building out the second layer of our map. And I'm going to drag state into detail so that Tableau knows which state these cities are in. And now I'm going to bring in quantity and I'm going to put it to size. Then I'm going to change the shape to this custom shape that I have. A diamond. I'm going to increase the size and drop the opacity down. And now we can see that within California, we have San Francisco and Los Angeles selling a large amount of inventory. Now the biggest benefit of the new map layers functionality comes into play. I am not limited to these two map layers. I can continue to add layers as I please. So now I want to add a third layer, and this time I want to look at which postal codes have the best profit ratio. So to do this, I'm going to follow a very similar process to creating the second map layer. I'm going to drag postal code into the view, then drop it into the marks layer, and then again we have a third marks layer appearing on the marks card. Now I just need to bring in the state level of detail as well as the city level of detail. And now I'm going to change the color scheme of this by dragging in profit ratio, the color, and now we have a diverging color scheme. Blue represents positive profit ratio, and red represents negative profit ratio. And if I zoom in to California, I can see that all the postal codes have a positive profit ratio, except for this one over here in Ontario. And just like that, we've built a map with three map layers using the new map layers functionality in Tableau. Now, there's a few more things to understand before you can use map layers to its fullest potential. The main point is that you can control how the user interacts with each layer. If I had a map with only one layer, then it would be very easy to click on a single mark to get extra information. However, with multiple layers, it might not be the best user experience to allow your audience to select all marks on all layers. With marks layers settings, you can control how your users interact with layers in the view. So something that you can do is disable mark selection. So if I do not want the user to be able to select the state marks, all I need to do is go to the state marks layer, click the drop down, and disable selection. And now you are unable to select any state mark. 
I think this is particularly useful for marks on the base layer or the highest level of granularity on your map because usually the user is going to be interested in the more detailed lower level of granularity marks on the map. Another thing you can do is hide a layer altogether. So say I want to declutter this view a bit and I don't want the user to see postal code level information. Then all I need to do is go to the postal code mark layer, hover over this eye icon, click it, and now you do not see any postal code information. This is particularly useful if you're playing around with the design of your map, but you don't want to get rid of a layer completely because you want to bring it back in later. The next option you have is to change the order of the layers in the marks card. So marks in layers at the top of the list will be displayed over marks in layers that are lower in the list. So all you have to do to change the order is click and drag to where you want it to go. So I want this city layer to go to the top. And now you can see that that city layer is above the postal code layer. You can also rename layers. So when a new layer is created, Tableau assigns a name automatically based on the table name and field name, as you can see. With large data sources, it might become difficult to manage lots of different layers. So to make it easier for a developer, you can rename a layer and give it a distinct name. So for example, this city number two, it's postal code information. I'm gonna double click and rename it postal code. You can also achieve the same effect by clicking the drop down menu and clicking rename. Finally, you can remove a layer altogether if you deem it to not be useful anymore by simply clicking the drop down menu and then clicking remove. Now, you might have noticed that there is one more customizable feature in the marks layer settings, and that is add to zoom extent. Now, this one might be a little bit more niche, but it can still be useful nonetheless. So when you add a new layer to a map, Tableau will include all marks in the view. But if there's a large difference between the scale of marks, then the desired detail might be lost. So we can resolve this by using this add to zoom extent feature on a per layer basis. So to show you how this works, I'm gonna to filter to just Arizona. Now you can see in Arizona, there are no cities with superstores in the north of the state. So this level of detail might not be appropriate. If I want to zoom in on these cities, then what I need to do is I need to go to the state layer, click the drop down, and deselect add to zoom extent. And just like that, it has zoomed in on the relevant part of the map. So the best way to think about this is that the layer that you do not need to show all marks in the view by default, that is the layer that you need to deselect from add to zoom extent. So in this session, we have covered the limitations of map layers in previous versions of Tableau and walked through the new map layers functionality in Tableau 2020.4. Now, for those of you who want to take what you've learned today and play around with the new map layers functionality, 
you can use this link from Tableau, which gives you a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the new features using a sample workbook. And I'd also like to give credit to this data viz blog on Tableau Map Players by Mark Reed, of which I based my walkthrough. And with that being said, that concludes the presentation part of this session. Now I will move into the Q&A part in which I can answer any questions you may have.